Continuing on then with um, uh, viruses, we have uh, the structure of viruses to consider. And again, the, the structure of the virus indicates uh, some aspects of what they can do, what they can't do, um, but also uh, ways to detect, ways to protect against them, um, that sort of thing. So knowing uh, the, uh, the structure, the, the characteristics, um, as in a sense, uh, uh, the structure uh, directs some of the means of operation. Uh, so uh, it, it gives you uh, information that you can use to, to protect yourself, your systems, and so on. Um, the important part of a virus is, of course, the, the infection or the, the reproduction of the virus. Um, and the, in, in many cases, um, this, this is the sum totality of uh, the virus, that, that all it does is, is reproduce. It doesn't carry any other payload. Um, it just, you know, finds another host, uh, attaches to another program, uh, infects another system, whatever uh, it may be. Um, the, um, uh, well, the, the file infecting virus we, we talked about, you know, that attaches to a program. And so you, when you carry a program to another system that is infected, uh, run that program on the new system, uh, that program, uh, well, the, the viral part of that program, anyways, the, the virus attachment to that program, uh, then activates, um, and in, in that, there, there are parts as well. There are uh, multiple components uh, in the infection phase. One is the, the target search. Um, you know, what is an appropriate program? Uh, uh, COM and EXE uh, programs in, in the DOS and Windows world um, operate differently. They have different structures. And uh, so un unless you know uh, how they operate, um, a, a program, a, a virus that can infect COM files uh, is not necessarily able to infect um, EXE files, uh, even though they're both, you know, uh, binary executables. The... Um, so it, it needs to find an appropriate target. Uh, in some cases, the the target is is more specific. Um, the uh, the virus that was used to target uh, Iran's nuclear program, uh, for example, um, was looking for uh, systems uh, that had the the control mechanisms for uh, Siemens centrifuges and, and Siemens numerical control systems. And, and so it was looking for a particular system, and, and in that case it was carrying a, a specific payload that would operate, activate, rather, when um, it found uh, an appropriate target. Um, so, uh, there is the target search. Um, uh, again, you know, uh, that's for file infecting viruses, but you've also got the uh, boot sector infecting viruses that um, uh, check, you know, has a, has a disk been inserted? Okay, let's, you know, copy ourselves onto that. Uh, so, searching for appropriate targets, whatever it may be, whether it's a disk, whether it's a program, whether it's USB sticks, whether it's network connections, um, uh, email, um, those sorts of things. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to find an appropriate target. Uh, and then there is the infection itself. And of course, you know, the, the infection part is, is going to be more technical and more specifically directed to the particular uh, uh, means of, of uh, 
infection and reproduction, you know, is it attaching itself to a file? Uh, what way does it attach itself to a file? Does it attach to the beginning? Does it attach to the end and, and just put a little jump instruction at the beginning? Um, does it try to find a file with a, a sort of a no-op sled somewhere in the middle uh, where it can dump itself into that space if, if uh, the string of no-ops is uh, sufficiently large uh, to uh, accommodate the size of the virus. So, uh, again, you know, the target search, uh, the infection. Um, then there are the, the payloads. Now, uh, this is where it becomes kind of interesting. And also um, oh, confusing for uh, the general public because, you know, this is people say that viruses do this, viruses do that. Viruses reproduce. Um, all the do this, do that, you know, deleting files, uh, encrypting files, um, uh, finding new systems, you know, different things like that, they're all payloads. And you can put any payload you want. On, and as long as you can program it. Um, and uh, then, of course, you know, if you've got a payload, uh, you're going to have a payload trigger. You're going to have a condition under which the, the virus will activate the, um, uh, the payload itself. Now, uh, of course, there's, there's another, there's the infection trigger, which is, you know, we have found a suitable target. Uh, that's one condition, but that's that's in the reproductive phase. Whereas the the payload is is going to look for separate, different conditions, and again, you know, look for a specific uh, circumstance, and if it is appropriate, then yes, it activates uh, the payload, whatever the payload may be. You know, completely erasing the system, uh, overriding the hard disk. Um, encrypting, putting a message up on the screen, whatever the payload may be. And the payload can be anything, anything that a program can do, a, a virus payload can do.